So, here's the update. We slept through the night. Wow. We had to sleep. But this is the final product. A few imperfections here and there, but it's all minor imperfections. We really didn't need any major corrections. We are very satisfied with the color of the cloth that we picked out. One of the mistakes we made was this one, the string. The string keeps popping up. We didn't put the cushion, like compress the cushion together. But the good side is it's on the front. This is the front side. You won't be able to see it if you were going to peek in the cabinet. The back side, eh, it's just carton. Just a whole lot of staples. And this side was glued together with the spray glue. This won't easily come off. And I thought, because this was cloth, I thought that we needed to put like mm, Velcro, self adhesive Velcros here. But when I tested it last night, it did, it did not even slip. And it was already of a tight fit. So you can see that. You have to push it down. And it won't move. I'm very very satisfied with the final product. If you wanna see and I've already marked out where the shower rod will be just enough see it's just enough on the other side And Eunice is actually preparing. She's going to make a very long sleeve. Uh, we just, when we put the curtain rod, we put also that cloth, and then we're going to uh, just roll it over the, the foam. All right, so here's the finished product. Eunice just finished it. Thank you, Eunice. Yeah. And if you're wondering what stitch she used, so it's this one. And now I'm just going to invert it. It's one long condom. So, uh, when <laughs> you were not watching, I've already put like Velcros, Velcros here, on the other side. This is going to take some time. The most important thing is when you're going to buy cloth, buy something that's stretchable. I'm sure that you're going to tell me you should have dividers here for the guitars when you put it so they won't slip on the sides. Well, I really don't, I, I don't think it's necessary, especially if this cabinet is at least stable. So, and if you are really careful enough placing your guitars next to each other, then it won't actually tip over. And I really don't mind getting my guitars uh, bumped or scratched. I think scratches and bumps adds a little bit of character to my guitars but I do plan to put instead of like dividers I plan to put like velcros so that they'll just strap on here so they'll be much more secure and less of a hassle to make And remember guys, this is not an instructional video. It's just showing you our way of doing our very own guitar storage cabinet. So it's just giving you a bit of an idea on how you could make yours. If you do plan to make yours, I recommend doing it much better than I did. I did this in a very simpler way 
and in a very somehow minimalistic way. Yeah. Ta-da! Elegance. Nice. So, let's see, let's see. Well, I noticed that this area here is a bit high, so it's tipping my guitars a bit to the left. Hello guys! I bought something for the guitar storage cabinet. LED lights! I'm going to put LED lights Starting here, going to here, on top, and to the bottom. It's gonna be awesome! <laughs> In case you didn't see it, so I actually sawed off the side of the shelf so that the lead strip would at least fit through there. Yeah. Hope you could see that, yeah. These adhesive velcro strips are really handy. I made a hole on this side where the wires would pass through. I forgot to mention I bought two kinds of LED lights. I'm going to show you the other one. Yep. Ooh, it's the LED light strip and it's actually going to be right about here. It's gonna be awesome! Yep, so the switches are on the back. Use the Velcro for wire management I know that there's a much better system but I don't have it on hand right now but this will work for today well as you can see LED lights are functioning one of my most stupid mistakes I've done during this project is this one this LED light I had a strip that was 5 meters long enough until here but I thought it was going to be too long so I cut too early and I didn't want any obstruction in this side of the drawer the problem is if I were to cut this one then this whole strip this whole length of strip wouldn't function so and the cut point was already on at this at this break point. Ah, uh, wow. Yeah, oh, very very stupid mistake. 